Hi guys, this is going to be my last video, at least for tonight. Um, just wanted to catch up on a few things that I wanted to do videos about, especially before I forgot them, and finally I am caught up. So this one is more of a New Year's resolution one, kind of me sharing what I decided that personally I wanted to work on, and then hopefully to give you guys some ideas. And I usually don't do these. And if I do, they're more of just kind of, you know, I think about them and I, you know, keep them inside of my head and stuff. And then if I remember throughout the year, then I stick to them and do them. But most of the time, I don't do these, but I decided, you know, haven't done them for years and years, so why not? So I usually don't do too many because you, if I put make a list of too many things, then I feel like, I, like there's just too much to do and I get overwhelmed. So I decided five is a good number for me especially with the ones that I picked. So, I'm going to share... Mm, sorry, my throat was dry because I'm currently sick. So, I'm going to share um, the five that I picked with you. And then I'll be... like end up actually like putting these on um, a dry erase board that I have. And then I'll recycle this paper. So, then that way, you know. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay, so let's get to my 2018 New Year's resolutions. So these are all things that I want to accomplish by the end of next year. So the first one is be in stage four by the end of the year. And for you of those that don't know what stage four means, I'll brief you, briefly tell you. I did a video before this one about um, my stages to a zero um, like waste-free life and stayed there are different ones and I'm just going to really quickly tell the stages up to stage four then you if you want go back and watch that video to hear my rambling that I go on for like 25 minutes but stage one is making the commitment to become waste free and staying free stage two going through all the things that you own and reusing them or recycling them Stage three, stop buying or allowing others to give you things that contain waste, any waste whatsoever. Then stage four is having a waste jar that all of the waste that I produce goes in. Um, so those are the four stages. There's, there's a total of six stages, but I want to be in stage four by the end of next year. Um, and real quick, I'll just tell you the other two stages. Um, stage five is becoming waste free in all things. Stage six is keep moving forward. So, and to top that off is I have done stage one. I'm in the process of stage two and three. So that will give you another kind of insight to that. So my next um, New Year's resolution is to have two more of my books published. Um, for you, those of you that don't know, I am an author. I have a book on Amazon and on um, the Kindle app. It's the same, the same book, just you know, in different versions. Um, for those of you that are interested in it, you can look up my name and find it, or the book is called Behind the Unseen Stars, and it's in a series, so you can also look up the Star God series. I'm hoping to have the second one published and then also a personal book, um, kind of my life, my life story published because I've had a lot of happen, especially in the past two years, a lot of tragedies that I think could help others that I want to put into a book and get it out there. My third one is, um, real quick back to the book, just in case you want to know, it's more like a teen um, fiction book. Um, it is safe, like... There is, an, I don't write books that contain like um, sexual scenes. So if you're one that doesn't read books like that, there is nothing in there like that. It may imply that happens, but it doesn't go into detail. Um, anyway, number three of my New Year's resolutions is help anyone that I can on their waste, on the way to be living a waste-free life. So that includes people on my YouTube channel that I hope will prescribe and reach out to me. That includes um, family and friends, 
um, people that I meet through Facebook, people that I just meet in general, um, um, people that I like would meet through um, Instagram or any social media like that. I would like to help others because um, watching uh, um, YouTubers share their life stories, I don't know how personal they get, but I would like to get personal with all of the ones that are really interested on becoming a waste free lifestyle. I think we could create a good group community, whether we live in the same town, the same state, um, in the in the U.S., or whether we live, you know, halfway around the world from each other. I think it would be cool to get a Facebook group going of us that we could just, you know, share ideas and our tips and, you know, be there for each other, especially if we're having a hard day. So, if you're interested in something like that, let me know. I actually do have, technically have a Facebook private group already. The only two people on it are me and my mom because you have to have somebody um, on there beside yourself. So I have it, but no one can join it. And like you can request to join it, but you can't actually join it unless they approve you. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And either in the comments on this or look me up on Facebook and I will and message me. Um, and I'll be more than happy to add you because, like I said, I want to help others. And that's a big goal of my next year is to help anybody that's interested to live a waste-free lifestyle or to just, you know, get ideas on how to start. Even if it's just, like, one thing, like, you're not ready to fully commit, but you want to try one thing. And I'll help find that one thing that's perfect for you. So, moving on to number four. Um, this one is going to be a little kind of a conversation, I guess, starter, is I am in the process of becoming a minimalist. And a lot of people hate using that word or describing themselves with that. I have found out of everything that I've read or listened to or watch, um, I guess some people take that more serious than others. Um, I guess there's some serious people out there that... Um, will say that you're not a millennial oh my gosh now i can't say it millennialist <laughs> i can't say it anyway that big m word there's a lot of people that will shun you because they don't think you're doing it right or they don't think that you're minimizing enough that you have too much stuff so you can't be qualified as a minimalist to me i think that's a lot of um bullpucky like come on people if someone is willing to say like me, I have a huge collection of books, I'm downgrading them and putting them on getting and purchasing them through like the Kindle app and downgrading on them, I think that qualifies me as a melon as that big N word. When I think about it, I can't say it. I think that qualifies me as a minimalist. So if you have a problem with that, then don't comment. Don't tell me that I can't become a minimalist because I'm not willing to give up everything in my life. I think that is not okay for us to attack each other. We're all here to help each other, so why would you attack someone that's trying? You don't know their life. You don't know the struggles they've been through, so take a step back, please. And, you know, rethink why you're doing it and why you're attacking that person. So... I, if you want, I can do a whole separate video on becoming a minimalist. And, I mean, that will be included in my um, waste-free lifestyle journey videos that I'm doing all on here. Amongst other videos that will pop up that pertain to my lifestyle. So, um, it, like I said, rude comments won't be tolerated. I will completely ignore you and probably delete your comment and and or also block you from being able to see my stuff. And yes, that is possible. I know exactly how to do it. Anyway, enough of that serious, um, not nice talk. We are going to move on to my fifth New Year's resolution, which is starting my own baking business. So for those of you that don't know me, um, should know that I absolutely love to bake anything but my favorite thing to bake is cupcakes i love doing that especially um things that qualify or i guess need to be gluten free since i'm gluten free my mom's gluten free and i have some other family members that are gluten free 
So my thing is that either the stuff that we enjoy is way too expensive so we only buy it on very rare occasions or the stuff that we do get just tastes horrible. So my goal is to be able to have all this gluten free stuff that tastes amazing that does not cost like buku bucks that you know you have to break your back or sell an arm and a leg to afford so those are my new year's resolution goals if you would like to help in anything like seriously just drop a comment look me up on facebook um it won't be hard to look find me on facebook uh, um you can go to my youtube channel my name's right there um i will be sharing a link either directly to my youtube channel um, to my Facebook um, page but first I have to put the app onto my um, tablet before I can do anything like that and I don't have the Facebook app on my tablet so I can't share that link yet but I will and I'm going to permanently put that link on my YouTube channel and for my um, my personal Facebook group page and the group that I've started about my journey and then also my Instagram I will have all of those hopefully in the next couple days permanently on my channel so you can go there and find it. So with that being said, this is the shortest video I've done tonight. It's half the time. But those are my New Year's resolutions. I'm just going to read them off real quick again. I know you don't, most people wait and do it on New Year's Eve, you know. But I mean I have family over because we're kind of having a party now type thing. That's a whole story later. Um, but so it was easier for me to do it tonight and then I'll probably post a couple videos tomorrow when I can break away just because I enjoyed posting videos like this so as you'll probably get sick and tired of me because on the days that I have off I'll be posting tons and tons of videos so you're just gonna have to get used to it or get sick of me okay so again I'm just gonna read off all my five New Year's resolutions and please share yours with me I would love to hear New Year's resolutions from others and that way, you know, we can help each other. So my first one is be in stage four by the end of the year. My second one is have two more books published. My third is help anyone that I can on their way to become a waste free. Um, either, you know, one small step, have find that one perfect for you or help you do the whole entire journey like I am. And remember, I'm only been doing this two months, so I'm still new at this. Um, number four is become a minimalist and number five is starting my own baking business so please comment um, make sure you give a thumbs up if you like this video and I hope you guys all have a good rest of your night and I hope you all have a happy new year